Hey guys, good morning. So, why are my eyes red? I just woke up anyways, like to seven, past six to seven. This is Monday morning, and you guys ignore this thing on my face. It's actually not a ripe pimple, it just looks like that. It's actually just a scar. So, in my comment section, I always see comments like, I thought you are so organized, I like how you are so organized. Um, I also see comments like, Are you sure you are not you don't have OCD? Are you sure you don't have OCD? See you guys, first of all, I do not have OCD. OCD is obsessive and compulsive. I am neither obsessive or compulsive about organizing, okay? Yeah, so sometimes I can be, but very, 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 very few times. Most times I am not obsessive or compulsive about it. I just like to do it, okay? And then two, that's because you are saying those things because you are only seeing the ones that I am showing you. You are not really seeing some places in my house. <laughs> If you see some places in my house, you change your mind real quick, okay? So anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you one of those places in my house that will just tell you that, okay, I am just like every other person out there when it comes to organizing and arranging, okay? In fact, I'm obviously, when you see this, this space, you see that I am obviously not obsessive or compulsive, okay? And that space is my store, my storeroom, okay? You guys, in fact, let me just show you guys the place before I talk so much, okay? Yeah. What I'm about to show you can be a little disturbing, okay? So, viewers' discretion advised. <laughs> okay, so, guys, this is my store, and let me show you what is happening in here, okay? So, <laughs> what the hell? What is going on? <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Alright, so guys, yes, this is my store, and obviously, you can see that uh, hey, th this is reality, okay? All those ones I used to do all those places, it's not, the, it's not the real, you know, test of how organized you are, okay? It is when it comes to places like this that you know how organized a person is, okay? So now, when it comes to this place, but okay, to be fair to me, Sha, to be fair to me, let me even, let me console myself small. To be fair to me, if you squint somehow, if you squint, you will see that this place was formerly organized, okay? Yeah, so, if you, if you just, if you just look at it with, you know, just squint your eyes small, you will see that this place was formerly organized and it has some kind of organization going on. The truth is that when I first got this one, when I first got this house and I entered this store, um, I really did not like the um, shelving or what I call this now, all these things. I didn't like these things. I didn't want it to be like this. I had a vision for how I wanted my shelf to be. I wanted it, I wanted my store to look like this. Yeah, this is the vision I had for my store. So when I entered and saw all these things, I was just like, nah, 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 nah. Like, I'm going to change this. I'm going to get my carpenter. He's going to break this whole thing down. He's going to repaint it. And, um, it's going to put in, you know, custom shelving that is going to be really nice. And I'm going to buy jars and storage boxes and containers and storage containers and blah blah blah. <sighs> By the time we finished renovating so many things in the house, and I just thought about it, I was like, you know what, girl, you need to relax, eh? You need to relax, like. Like, yeah, I need to relax. So that was why I didn't do it. But I actually tried to organize it before. But you know now, I actually got lazy with it. I was like, if I have to keep organizing this thing, then I beg, I don't have time. So I left it for uh, uh, sister. I left it for, for sister. <laughs> and her, she's not that organized. So anytime she just comes, she just pack things, put, pack things, put. Anywhere, she just put, okay? So most of the things I organize are now scattered. So I'm still the way they are. The ones that her hand cannot get to. These ones are still the way they are. Um, I think these ones too are still the way they are. But basically everywhere is is disorganized right now. So yeah, I'm going to tackle organizing that space today. The first step is to get everything out of the store. So I'm going to bring out every freaking thing from that store and then clean it very well before I start arranging. Okay, most of the things that we bought you know for this quarantine season they are still close somewhere close to the parlor let me show you guys so these are most of the things that we bought for the quarantine season so i need to get them into the store because this is just the passage so they can't be here forever so i need to organize that space right now 
so guys we are done bringing out almost everything in the store there are some things that i left there because i mean there's really no point bringing them out so this is what the store looks like empty there's no point bringing these ones down they're even very heavy so i left them there so i'm going to be working with just these two you know shelving here the cleaner is around so she's going to just quickly clean it while we sort out the stuff outside i'm going to even throw away a lot of things i've seen things i'm just like girl so you still have this thing after how many years so i'm going to throw away i'm going to throw away some things here and then reorganize some things here so i don't know if i'm going to show you guys the process so, because um I don't want to focus on my camera today. Well, yeah. We also have a lot of things to wash. The black suit is on so many things, dust and black suits. So so many containers and you know stuff like that. So we have to wash most of the containers. Amarch is already say hi. <laughs> Amarch is already preparing the place where we are going to wash most of these things. And so yeah, that's it for now. I'll update you guys when we are done sorting out stuff. All right, so it has been properly cleaned. The ground is still a little wet. So let me just allow it dry and then I'll come back and start arranging. This store is actually too small for me to set up my camera in. So I'm just going to be updating you guys while I am working. Okay, so I've done this part. <sighs> oh, it's so good. No, I feel like filling it Mommy, up. Look but at this. I cannot do that. Hmm? Mommy, look at fish. Which fish? Okay, Dory. Yeah. Those things are actually um, my cake mixer is here, and my uh, what they call it food processor is in this one. So cake mixer, food processor, and those are coolers that I barely use. Yeah, barely yeah. use. Barely yeah. use. Yeah. finally done arranging the store um yeah so this is what i was able to do these are all our cleaning products and this ones are uh, tin tomatoes spaghetti macaroni and stuff like that are inside here this is beans gary rice uh we have a bag of rice here so later we'll fill it up then these ones are extra stuff like paper towels uh, bean bags, sponge, um, more bean bags, and down here we have water, diapers for Ava, um, Indomie, Ribena, then here we have Golden Moon, their milk, um, some other stuff, I think Milo milk and some other stuff here. And then these ones are all those nylons that we get from the market. So we just pack them here to use and throw away stuff and whatever. And then here I have some of my extra stuff to These are just stuff that I really don't use. Here I have my baking stuff, straw, um, Ziploc bags, disposable plates. Um, this is baking paper, baking sheets, foil. And what is this? This is the pestle for my mortar, and that's my baking tray. And then here I have my scale, then I have my oils here. So that's red oil. Um, what do they call this oil now? Granite vegetable oil. And down here we have the rice, we have some dispenser water. These are the containers we use to make pap for my children. So, yeah, and then this is our onions. We have onions, onions, then garlic and ginger, and then that's the mortar, and that's half a yam. So anyway, um, that's it though, that's it for my store. I'm really happy about how it turned out, and hopefully it stays this way, hopefully. Hopefully it stays like this, but you and I know that it's not going to stay like this for, well, maybe for the first two or three months it might stay like this, but after that, we'll come back and revisit this place. <music>
So I'm really happy about how the store looks now. Hopefully it stays this way. My eyes are red and I don't understand why. I really don't understand why. Anyway, so I'm arranging. If this store, let me tell everybody, if this store should scatter, I will lock you inside here. Jesus. Yes, I'll lock you there for two days so you arrange it. <laughs> anyway, I mean I want to drink water. Let me know what's running. Now.